Right, he used to be known as The Rock. Uh, now, wrestler turned actor goes by his real name, still with a bit of granite in the middle. Uh, granite? I'm getting very American here. <laughs> Granite in the middle. Dwayne, sorry about that, Dwayne. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Dwayne, of course, is the star of Disney's uh, new one. It's called The Game Plan. He's an American football legend who plays the field in every sense of the expression. And then the daughter that he never knew he had turns up on his doorstep. World-class athlete Joe Kingman had it all. Adoring fans, cool cars, and the kind of life anyone would envy. Until the day fate came to his door. My name is Peyton. I'm your daughter. Mm -hmm. Papa's got a brand new bag. Hello. I never had a kid. My birth certificate. Your name is on it. My name's not on this thing. Joseph King. Do you eat chocolate? We don't do simple sugars in this house. Kids love sugar. Well, my dad never let me have sugar. Oh, is that why you never smile? Never had to tackle a challenge this big. I am not qualified for this. Moms go over there. If the ball comes down to this, three seconds left. Welcome to the magical world of ponies. What happened? Get back, get back! What have we done to deserve this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've all been there. Um, <laughs> Dwayne and his co-star, Madison Pettis, join us now. Hello, both of you. Hello, Hi. Madison. We've met you before. Nice to see you again. Yeah, good God. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Now, look, I, I want to get something straight right from the top. I didn't do it. Yeah, well, we, well yeah, it's never been proven. <laughs> um, no, in interviews, I've got a note here. That warms it. In interviews, apparently, Madison, Dwayne always tricks you into saying that he's both handsome and intelligent. He always tricks you into saying and that. Brilliant. And, and brilliant. And brilliant. Don't forget it. OK. <laughs> so this Don't interview... forget that, Richard. That's important. Brilliant. He's brilliant, important. talented, and handsome. You've just done it. I was just going to say. We're just going to say we set you a challenge not to say it. challenge not to say it. Okay, She's done it already. I pay her well. <laughs> so it's always difficult for a, for a grown man or woman to act with a little girl. Because you were eight, weren't you, uh, when you actually yes. made the film? Yes, and yeah. now I'm nine. When was your birthday? July 22nd, July 22nd, and I'm going to be 10 this year. Oh, yeah? Double digits. Okay. <laughs> okay. She's actually going to be 32. The truth is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. She's a very little. You're a very little grown-up. Yeah. You really. She's got a bad smoking no. problem. We're going to have to. Yeah, 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 yeah. I heard about that. I can smell it on her breath. Actually, when she came out. she's on, on the fags again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tell us, tell us about the film. So you play this little girl. What's, what's, what's the, your character's name? Peyton. Peyton. Okay. And um, I play uh, the daughter that he never knew he had. And yeah. I show up on his doorstep and tell him he has to take care of me for a month. And he has no clue how to be a father at all. Oh, I mean, he, he's like, you know, uh, give me all this crazy food and I know what to feed a kid. And he's taking me to football practice and, you know, yeah. he's not a good father. And Madison, you are I'm putting her in the cage. I'm sorry, you are 32. Doing, <laughs> like I said I'm putting her in the cage. Okay. I'm doing all the things that a good dad does, yes. Uh, one thing that does strike me about the clips I've seen about mm -hmm. seeing the movie is it's the... Um, that your apartment in this uh, in 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 this movie is just incredible. It's incredible. Yeah. Isn't it? <laughs> and, but isn't isn't your your character in the end, Joe? He's only got he hasn't got a spare bedroom. Well, you know, Judy, he, Joe just doesn't like uh, visitors in his place, <laughs> which is why he doesn't have a spare bedroom. You know, and all the other bedroom. You know, of course. But what he does like, he likes himself. You can count on that. Right. Uh, you know, with with a character like this, uh, had so much fun playing him, and I think it's always interesting if you could find. Well, first of all, as you guys know, you know, what makes a great comedy are the collisions of two worlds. Mm. And the collision of my world, of course, and little Madison's world in the movie just makes for a great comedy. Well, let's have a look, because um, right. this, this, it's milkshake time, and you're, 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 you're a complete sort of health freak, and you won't eat any rubbish or anything like that, as we saw in that clip there, um, and you make a, your health milkshake. I'm delighted to see what you do with it. Madison, <laughs> let's have a look. That's why I use tuna for protein and flavor. Mmm. <laughs> Little liquid chickens. Yeah, that's my favorite. Joe's juice. Okay, that's enough. I'm gonna need you to drink up. You'll be running a 40 and under 4.5 in no time. Ew! That smells worse than school food. You know, speaking of school, why aren't you in it? I'm on break. In January? No, you're not. Yes, I am. I go to a magnet school, so I have January off. Oh, really? Well, guess what? I'm not on break. As a matter of fact, I'm on the opposite of break. So I'm gonna need you to come over here, put some hustle in it, and drink your breakfast. Peyton, stop messing around. What? Peyton! No!
Great how, how, many, how many takes did you did you do that to him in? About like seven or eight because Excellent. I did not want to get spotted by that. It was a very messy day, and <laughs> whenever uh, they would explode it, I would want to look down because I didn't want to get in my face. But right. they were saying you have to look up because then we can't see your face. <laughs> and so I finally did it. And when I screamed like that, that was it's not for real. I could yeah, tell that, that was, was a real disgusting. scream. So you got covered seven times because she wouldn't look up. You know, guys, <laughs> let's be honest. You know, let, th that gives you a great example of just how far I go as an actor. <laughs> Really, and and, and the, the length, the commitment I have as an actor. <laughs> well, listen, for every mother watching mm -hmm. who thinks that little girl could make it in the movies, and for every little girl watching who thinks they could make it in the movies, we'll hear how you got into the movies in a couple of seconds. Well, and we're taking a break, um, aren't we? No, not now. In a we'll take a little break. Okay, yeah, we're we'll taking a break. Back in a minute. <laughs> She's ready. <laughs> Well, we're still here with Dwayne here in Madison, and uh, right, I promised people before we went to the break that you tell us, one, how you got this, uh, the, the, this movie um, and what it's like. So how did you get the part? Well, um, I started auditioning for it right when I was about to leave L.A. to go home to Texas. Mm -hmm. And I got um, the call, and I started auditioning for it, and it was forever. It took like seven or eight callbacks before I finally booked it. Really? it. It was the longest process of my life. Did you? <laughs> it's a pretty short life cycle. <laughs> it's long only the life she's had. Yeah, it was yeah. six weeks long. Six oh, weeks? Six whole weeks. Oh, my LA. God. How oh. awful. Oh, you. Yeah. Yeah. And did you, see, did you see the other girls who were auditioning? Did you all um, hang out in the same room? Some of the times, like, it got lower and lower every time. The final, uh, the final audition was about three girls, me and two others. And what's it like when, when there's just three of you left and you're, you're sitting in the room and you're looking at each other? Are you sort of going, good luck. <laughs> What's going on there? Well, you know, you always want it, but it was the very first movie audition that I ever had. So I really wasn't expecting anything. So, you know, I knew the other girls could get it just as much sure. as I could. And so I really wasn't like, I, you know, of course I hoped I could get it, but you know. Yeah, yeah. You, you do ballet in the film, as yes. we just saw before, and she actually gets you to do ballet as well, doesn't she? She, uh, begrudgingly, Judy, yes, we should be clear with that. <laughs> yes, she does. You get into a green leotard, don't you? That's right, yeah, that's okay. right. You, you know, and I, I got to say... Unitard. The, a unitard. A unitard? What's a unitard? It's, a, it's a male version of a, a leotard. leotard. A leotard? Yeah. Well, don't I get did. technical with me, Manny. I'll, I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, and then, as, as a result of this, you got, you got into television. And uh, is it Corey in the House? Is yes, your it's on Disney Channel. And you and you play the president's daughter in the White House. Sophie, yes. Sophie. Okay. <laughs> she gets into lots of mischief and pulls a lot of pranks okay. on and did, Corey. And does, and does she live in the in the, in the White House? She does. She okay. lives uh, with her father, President Martinez, and uh, she always tries to. Uh, Foil um, Corey's plans and Corey's the cook, the cook's son, the chef's son. Is that right? Yes, he okay. is, and he moves into the White House because his father gets accepted to be the president's chef. President Martinez, so he's a he's a Hispanic. A Hispanic uh, yes, chef. he uh, is chef cook, uh, not president. <laughs> How did it, it's just... <laughs> There's many jokes there, Richard. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, didn't I see your mind racing. I, no, I was just getting uh, all, you, wrapped you, up there. You persuaded Dwayne to come on as well, didn't you? Yes. After show. we did the movie, yeah. um, he came on and did an episode with us, and we had a little tea party. And <laughs> okay, well, let's, okay, let, let's, let's see that, that clip. Corey in the house. It looks like it's just you and me, Professor. I know. Excuse me. I was supposed to have a meeting with the president, but nobody's around. I hope I'm in the right White House. This is it. Hey, you're Sophie, America's angel. That's what they call me. And you are? Well, I'm Dwayne Johnson. But some people call me The Rock. Mm, yeah. Let's just go with Dwayne. So going back to your audition, <laughs> when you got it, tell me exactly the, what happened, exactly what happened when you heard that you'd got the part. Who told you? 